Hi there, today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to set up and calibrate your KM1001 micro syringe pump. Once you've unboxed your micro syringe pump, ensure that it is charged or is connected to a power supply. The first step in setting up your syringe is to calibrate the syringe parameters for each syringe type that you are planning to use with your micro syringe pump. It is important to set the correct parameters according to the syringes that will be used with the pump as this will determine the accuracy of the volumes administered by the pump. Syringe parameters can be set for up to 10 syringes which can all be modified at any time. To begin, ensure the machine is turned off. Whilst off, press and hold the bolus enter button while simultaneously pressing the on off button to turn the unit on. This will initiate the settings mode where the syringes can be calibrated. As you can see, here are the 10 different syringe slots that can be modified. Click the up and down arrows to select the syringe that you wish to calibrate. Click enter to set the syringe effective length. To determine the effective length of your syringe, use a ruler to measure the length of the syringe that corresponds to the syringe's volume. In this video, I've chosen a 5 milliliter syringe and measured the effective length to be 42.5 millimeters. Click the up or down arrows to select the right effective length. Press and hold the up or down arrow to increase or decrease the value at a faster rate. Click bolus enter again, at which point you would need to set the syringe effective volume. Please refer to the volume of the syringe that corresponds to the length of the syringe measured in the previous step. Once you've completed this, click enter again in order to finish the syringe calibration. Repeat as necessary to calibrate the various syringes. Once you've completed your calibration, you can then continue to modify other settings. Let's now go through the other settings that can be changed. When changing settings, press enter on the setting you would like to change, then press the up or down arrows to select your preference and then click enter again. Let's change the disengaged alarm setting. This alerts the user when the syringe has been dislodged from the machine or is not placed or secured correctly on the syringe pump. Press enter and use the arrows to turn the disengaged alarm on or off and then press enter again. Next, let's modify the language. The default language is English, but this can be changed to French if you wish to do so. Next, we can modify the occlusion pressure setting. This can be set to low, medium or high. This setting is used to set the pressure at which the user is alerted to possible occlusion. For example, if there's a kinked IV line during an infusion. Once you've calibrated the syringes and modified the settings to your preference, you are now ready to use your pump. Turn the pump off to exit settings mode and turn it back on again to begin using your pump. Check out our next video on how to use the KM1001 micro syringe pump. 